All right, so how does one start a corporation in Ohio? It's pretty straightforward. All we'll need to do is submit the articles of incorporation or application for license to the Secretary of State with a, uh, with a filing fee. And if you're a foreign entity with a certificate of good standing, and if they approve, you're able to do business. It's that simple. Um, right off the bat, uh, we usually suggest you perform a business entity search, regardless of whether you're foreign, uh, domestic, profit, nonprofit, professional. This way, you can make sure that the name that you're planning on using isn't already taken in Ohio. Uh, you can also re reserve your name once you find out that that's true for a period of 180 days for $39. After this has been done, you can download the PDF if you're a foreign entity, or we suggest logging into the online portal and filing online if you're a domestic corporation. Um, a tutorial for account setup can be found here. Unfortunately, at, the t at this time, there's no online filing for foreign corporations. If you click on each one of these links, you're going to get a more in-depth look at exactly what it takes to file in Ohio. It's pretty straightforward, uh, and, and it'll only take a few seconds. Uh, after your forms have been completed, you could pay the filing fee of $99. If you're issuing corporate stock, you're probably going to need to pay a little bit extra. This is for domestic corporations. So if you click on the link here, you're going to get a table of uh, the pricing for filing fees should you be issuing corporate stock, and it's dependent on the amount of that stock, of course. Um, otherwise, it's just $99, unless you're planning on expediting your filing, in which case it'll be $100 to $300 extra. Uh, $300 is going to get you processed in four hours, which is pretty insane. Um, if you plan on doing that, you need to send your application through the mail to this address. If you plan on um, just doing regular filing, you can send it to this one. Sorry about that. Um, once this has been done, if you're a domestic entity, you need to apply for an employer identification number uh, with, this, with the uh, IRS. It's going to allow you to hire employees, open bank accounts, do all that fun stuff. Uh, so like a social security number. So you can apply online. You can apply it through a PDF form, SS4. Uh, if you're confused as to how to do either of those, click on this link and you're going to get a tutorial for both. Uh, corporate bylaws. This is legally required in Ohio as it's not in most states, um, but it's always recommended because it'll relay each member's specific duties, responsibilities, and also their relation to the, um, to the corporation. So say shareholders, uh, amount of invested stock um, or capital interest will be relayed in these provisions in, in this form. Uh, anything that's not in the initial articles of incorporation, throw it in the corporate bylaws. We have a template for one. Uh, you can find it through this link here. You can get in PDF and Microsoft Word. And finally, there is no renewal in Ohio unless you're a professional association, which is a professional corporation. And that'll... Uh, That'll cost you $25. It's not an annual report, though. It's biennial, so you can send it every other year in case you don't know what that means. Uh, it's just this PDF here. You download it, fill out the information. It's pretty much everything you put in your initial formation documents anyway. And just like with the regular filing, I have to send it here if you want standard processing or here if you want special expedited treatment. All right. I hope that was helpful, guys. Good luck.